Following, then, the Holy Fathers, we unite in teaching all men to confess the one and only Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. This selfsame one is perfect, both in deity and also in humanness. This selfsame one is also actually God and actually man, with a rational soul and a body. He is of the same reality as God, as far as his deity is concerned, and of the same reality as we ourselves, as far as his humanness is concerned. Thus, like us in all respects, sin only accepted. Before time began, he was begotten of the Father in respect of his deity, and now in these last days, for us and on behalf of our salvation, this selfsame one was born of Mary the Virgin, who is God-bearer in respect of humanness. We also teach that we apprehend this one and only Christ, Son, Lord, only begotten, in two natures. And we do this without confusing the two natures, without transmuting one nature into the other, without dividing them into two separate categories, without contrasting them according to area or function. The distinctiveness of each nature is not nullified by the union. Instead, the properties of each nature are conserved, and both natures concur in one person and in one hypostasis. They are not divided or cut into two prosopa, but are together the one and only begotten logos of God, the Lord Jesus Christ. Thus have the prophets of old testified, thus the Lord Jesus Christ himself taught us, thus the symbol of the fathers has handed down to us.